so I was out working on the rat trap today and driving it around and uh, I came to a gas station someone couldn't get their car to run you know there's some flooding here in Virginia and apparently they had gas in there or water in the, the gas at that um, station from the rains we had lately so you know I wanted to kind of do a comparison of what water and gas actually does and then um, what uh, you know sugar and gas actually does since um, you know there are two common ways that people kind of go you know try and uh, damage other people's cars um, you know water is more of a natural thing but sugar is something that people add and um, you know I just did this and we can see that the sugar is dissolving so we'll check back with this later but um, usually what people say is it gets really sticky and it gums up usually gums up a lot of fuel system components and you just have to replace everything so we're gonna let that sit until our sugar dissolves but um, we can see here that the water completely separated from the gas and um, apparently it's more dense so it sits below it um, now this is interesting this would completely disable a vehicle if you had enough water in the gas because uh, um, your pickup in your gas tank um, your pickup tube will be at the very bottom of your tank so since the water sits at the bottom um, you wouldn't be able to run now luckily this doesn't damage the system and you'd be able to um, you know disconnect some lines and just drain the bad gas out turn the pump on and just let the fuel pump kind of pump that fuel out of a open line but um, anyway we'll check here like that would definitely um, stop a car from running in a hurry but it wouldn't do any permanent damage where we'll check on this where I can see that the sugar would sit at the bottom and also probably gum up a lot of stuff but um, it'll be interesting to see here if it actually gets sticky and gums it up or if just because it sits at the bottom then the fuel pump would suck it up it acts a lot like sand and tears things up in that way so anyway we'll let that dissolve and then we'll check back with that okay so it's been about a day and here we are again with our gasoline um, and sugar on the left and gasoline and water on the right. So um, the gasoline and water deal happened right away, but you can see that <clears throat> um, the gas and sugar mixture be has started to cloud up a little bit, which means that some of that sugar is um, getting to the, you know, um, dissipating into the fuel. And, you know, the main issue I can see with this is the sugar would act a lot like sand and it would just destroy your fuel pump. And if it got past the point where, um, you know, somehow that didn't kill the fuel pump, eventually that mixture of sugar, I would imagine, um, could probably make it all through your fuel system, but it would get um, on your injectors and, uh, you know, right on the tip that is. Um, put right into the ch you know the chamber of the engine you know it gets so hot I could see that caramelizing up and eventually causing a lot of issues so um, I definitely think this is the worst thing someone could do to somebody because it could really um, cause some you know serious damage over just a minor inconvenience um, a much more effective and direct way to disable a vehicle though would probably have to be water in the fuel. I mean, all this right here is water. This is kind of the bottom of the glass, but this is all water. And then this is fuel. So you can see that with the pickup tube for the fuel pump at the bottom, you'd be um, pumping water up into the engine. It would, it would probably have a pretty hard time running. Now, most cars have a return line on them, so it would just keep um, cycling back into the gas, but um, you know, I could really see that disabling a vehicle and not allowing it to start right away where um, the sugar deal would take some time. But either way, you're pretty much a tool if you do either of these to somebody. But, um, you know, I, where I grew up, we settle things like uh, men. But anyway, kind of a quick look at, you know, sugar and gasoline. And I dip my finger in it and it's kind of, you know, it kind of has an oily, sticky feeling where, um, you know, that other part is just normal gasoline. But 
Anyway, there you go. Sugar and water versus, uh, or excuse me, sugar and gasoline versus water and gasoline. Um, both pretty bad scenarios for your car.